What is up, y'all? So, let's make a video of me trying to repair the Fugu XL Bluetooth speaker. Well, you see here's the uh, nice big Fugu uh, woofers and uh, me trying to renew the battery pack. So this is the old battery pack and it is using one of these BQ uh, battery management chips by Texas Instrument. They have software in there so, you know, once you replace the cells, you'll have to kind of restart the whole uh, data logging system or whatever the heck you, they call it like restart the clock and everything so that it would clear the old data because the cell is the, the chip thinks the cell is dead you're not it's not going to try and charge it um and uh even if i had new cells in there it's not going to work so unless i have the tool which by the way costs 300 something dollars um i won't be able to refresh the battery compartment this is i think a lot of this chip is used in a lot of other laptops back in the early 2000s as well so, yeah, I guess they kind of took it from there. And I don't know how they programmed it, to be honest. And I don't plan on buying that uh, BQ programmer anyways. So, what I did was I went ahead and uh, bought one of these four lithium-ion battery packs and just transformed it into this. I took the battery packs apart, carefully making sure that uh, it's not going to automatically reset it and all meaning that I have the batteries on there all the time and uh, it's still doing all right. This is the uh, BMS system. Since this battery socket just gives 16 volts, I'm just going to keep it at that. I'm just going to hook the BMS system directly to that. I think it's going to work. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I guess, hopefully. It is currently 14 something volts, so I'm gonna probably going to have to charge it tonight. Hopefully, it's going to work. Uh this is the circuit board itself. So this is actually interesting. I might as well talk a little bit about it. It's using a single stereo amplifier, TPA3118. There's no uh, active uh, crossover or anything. Um, the tweeters, I think uh, one of them are crossed over with a capacitor. The other, was, I, the other I think is also crossed over by a capacitor, but it's on the board. I think it's, that one, I'm not really sure. Either ways, um, it all these are going to get full range signals anyways. Uh, these are the woofers. And they are also playing full range. So, yeah. They primarily use the DSP to um, get it to sound a little different. As for the DSP, my guess is a all-in-one all system on chip. I do not see any sort of a max base or any sort of other programming type thing that is probably a power management chip uh power supply on board that would be my bet my guess for some other stuff because these require like five volts and whatnot anyways uh this is a decent speaker i think it's got a lot of potential it already goes pretty loud even without like any sort of complex dsp so big shout out to fugu they did a really good job now let's uh put it back together See if we have a, oh, yeah, I forgot to say, I'm going to be hooking this, the wires, back onto there. Uh, I'm going to solder it on there. And then I'm going to put it back together, make sure nothing's short now, touching each other, and then see if we could have a working Fugu speaker. All right, so it is working, and as I was testing it a little earlier, I realized the two tweeters between the back and the front is in a series, which very interesting usually it's a parallel configuration but i guess they're in series this time well here's the woofer one one of them is in there now the the other thing i'm going to test is if the battery charges anyways i was having trouble charging the battery pack so i decided to hack the uh power input here the little plug and um just connect it directly to the uh, battery pack where it would charge automatically, it's now a separate circuit. It's not, nothing's related to the uh, board up there anymore. So I did order the power, uh, the charger on Amazon. We'll see if it works, I'm pretty sure it would. Now, this is, I'm done with the big Fugu. I still got the small Fugu to deal with. So there you have it, guys. 